Hello everybody, it is me, Solita Sims. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm presenting another tutorial for you all. I'm in my tutorial era right now. I've been doing a lot of tutorials lately and the first one I will be kicking off will be how to make custom poses for your Sims. You guys may not know this about me, but I actually do happen to make some custom poses. I just haven't uploaded them or really even talked about them, but there are some poses I've made for some pictures here and there, some billboards here and there, some thumbnails here and there, and I just never said anything. But yes, I've been making poses for the Sims 4 off and on for the past two years and I was making a pose last week and I was going on YouTube searching for my favorite posing tutorial because I had forgotten a few things. The posing tutorial I would always always watch would be the one by Catverse. Catverse is a former Sims 4 content creator. She would make poses, she'd make CC and I think it was last year when she announced that she was no longer going to be a Sims 4 content creator which is fine but my heart shattered into a million pieces when I searched up her tutorial on YouTube and I found out that all her videos were either privated or deleted regarding the topic. And I was so sad because they're the ones I would always watch. So I figured I would come on here and share my knowledge since she helped me learn so much about Blender and The Sims 4. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You are going to need a few programs to make these poses. Obviously, the first one is going to be The Sims 4. You are also going to need Blender. Blender 2.7 is the version I use. I'm sure you could use other versions of Blender to make poses with, but I've always used 2.7 and I feel like if something's not broke, don't fix it. So I'd recommend you do the same and download Blender version 2.7. You are going to need some type of inspiration for your pose, whether that's a photo, whether that's something you have up in your mind. Today, I will be making a pose off of Sabrina Carpenter's espresso promotion photos. I don't know about y'all, but I've been obsessed with espresso. I don't care what nobody says. I love that song. I've been loving her album Short and Sweet lately. Bed Chem, Please, 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 Slim Pickens. Those are my jams, girl. I've been looking for poses inspired by espresso and I haven't seen any yet. So I figured I might as well do the honors and I will go ahead and make these poses for you guys. What would you do without me? You're going to need the rigs necessary in order to make these poses. In this tutorial, I will be using the adult female rig. You're going to need Sims 4 Studio, the latest version, and you're going to need two mods for the Sims 4, which would be Teleport Any Sim by Scumbumbo and the Pose Player mod by Andrew Studio. And the links to everything I just mentioned will be down in the description of this video. Without further ado, let's hop into Sims 4 Studio. All right, here I am in Sims 4 Studio. What we need to do is export our rig. These rigs are 100% necessary for making the poses. So in order to export these rigs, we're going to go over here to where it says animation and make sure clip pack is selected. Click on animation and your file explorer will pop up. I'm just going to give the file a random name like O or something because I'm not really going to use it later on. And then this is going to pop up. We're going to go over here to where it says clips at the top left. And then down here, it's going to say export rig adult female blank clip. So you're going to export the rig that you need for your pose. I'm I'm using an adult female rig in this tutorial, but you can export any of these. There's child poses, toddler, infant, pets, etc. But today I'm going to be doing adult female. So that's all I need. Press export. Your file explorer will pop up again. And I already have one saved as female rig, but just name it something very basic that you'll always understand. I, I just put female rig for this one. I'll just do adult female rig. Now it's exporting the animation. It's going to appear right in that same folder you saved it in. Since we're done with that now, we can hop into Blender 2.7 and get on with making this pose. So here I am in Blender version 2.7. We're left with a blank slate. What we're gonna do is go to the top left where it says file, and we're gonna go to where it says open. Find wherever it is that you left your female rig, and you're just gonna double click that and open it. And here is our rig. This is what we're going to use to make our pose. Let me explain some things about how Blender works before we get into this. You can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out, to move up and down, side to side. You can use a scroll wheel and press shift on your keyboard at the same time. Down here are some very important settings. When you're making the poses for your Sims, you're going to want to make sure this is in pose mode. You're not going to want to be in edit or object mode. You're going to want to be in pose mode. Down here, we have some transformation manipulators. The only two I'm going to be using is this curved one and this pointed one. And I'll show you what those two do in a moment. To the left over here, we have all all of the body parts on our rig under the dope sheet summary. Basically, you click these and if you look over to the right, it's going to highlight which body part that is. Of course, you don't absolutely need to use this. It's just helpful if you can't find a certain body point. You can also just right click on all of these points or you can go over here to the top right and you could search for these points as well. For example, when I'm making a pose and it involves smiling, something I like to adjust is the eyes because if you were to just put this rig straight into The Sims 4, you will notice that your Sim will have very surprise looking eyes. Something I like to do is change the eyelids and if I can't find the specific point that I 
need, I can just go over here and search like lid and it'll show me the left and right eyelids. And I could just click these little bones right here and it'll highlight that for me just like so. If you go to the point right here, kind of where the Sims is crotches and you right click on it, this point controls the entire rig. Okay. Not just a certain body point. You spin me right around, but you get what I mean. Okay. So you could rotate it like so, or if you go down here to the transformation manipulators and you click this one, you can move the rig around like so. And in order to undo everything I just made, cause she looks a mess, you just have to select control Z on your keyboard multiple times and then it'll go back to the way it was. And with all that said and done, let's go ahead and start making our pose. I'm gonna be honest with you. There's really no specific tutorial on how to make a pose per se. A lot of it has to do with trial and error, clicking new things and dragging them all over the place. <laughs> Maybe not like that, but undoing things, redoing things until you have the pose exactly how you want it. So I will just show you my process and how I do it. It's going to take you some practice. It's going to definitely take you some time to get it down. But once you do have it down, you'll be able to complete poses at the snap of a finger. Okay. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is that Sabrina in this photo, she's kind of arched. So I'm going to go to the lower back and I'm going to click this manipulator down here just so I can kind of make her lean forward a bit. Maybe go up to her chest, get that going too, because her body's kind of making like, you know, an arch, a C shape in the back. Just don't overdo it you know, because it's going to look, it's not going to look so good. You know what I mean? When your body is arched like this too, your legs tend to kind of go forward a bit. One goes forward and one goes back. So I'm going to rotate her legs like so, maybe not so much on this one. And when your body is like that as well, your feet tend to hang. So I'm going to make her feet hang just a little bit. I'm not going to try to go too far below these red and green lines because then when you put it in game, your Sims's feet will go through the ground and it's not going to look super good. So I'm going to yeah, a lot of perfecting that you're gonna have to do while you're making these poses. I'm gonna put her arms down because it annoys me when they're out like this and they look all T-posed. And one thing about Blender, guys, you're gonna wanna save as much as you possibly can because the thing about Blender, at least for me, and I have a very powerful computer, is that Blender tends to crash at the most random, weirdest times. And then you're gonna have to redo your whole pose all over again. And that's painful. So let me show you guys how to properly save a rig. You are gonna want to press A on your keyboard probably twice. You want to do it until all these points are highlighted blue like so because that means that every part of your rig is selected not just one body part once all of them are highlighted blue you're going to also click i on your keyboard and you're going to go down here where it says lock rot if you do not press lock rot before saving your pose your pose will not appear how it's supposed to in game it's going to appear like it was before t posed so this is essential do not forget to do this lock rot and now it's going to look like this which is incomplete but it's better than a t pose and then after you've done that after you've pressed lock right then you can go up to here where it says file and you can press save as i'm gonna press save as because i want to save the standard t pose female rig so i'm just gonna rename this one let's rename it espresso duh and then save as a blender file and now it is tucked neatly away and you can continue on save after you've done some really dramatic changes to it because you don't want to lose your progress at all another great tip for when you're making these poses this is going to sound so ridiculous <laughs> to say Okay, but one thing you could do if you're having trouble figuring out how exactly to make this pose, how you're supposed to be twisting this Riggs's body around, you're just struggling immensely and you don't know what to do. What you can do is go and stand up and go walk in front of a mirror that you have in your house somewhere, stand in front of the mirror and try to emulate the pose you want to make. Because once you're doing that, once you're going into a mirror and you're posing, you're looking at yourself while you're doing it, you get to see how exactly your bones move and that will really help you animate that in blender i've done this so many times it helps so much even if you're sitting down you know if you're uh, right here right now i'm moving my arm i'm bending it i'm seeing how it moves so then i could properly do that in blender you learn a lot about your body this way and it's super helpful especially if you're making poses so yeah i'm just gonna continue making this pose now and i'll let you know if i have any tips along the way So something I didn't really explain, when you are playing with these transformation manipulators, this one with the arrows, it moves your Sims's body like 
so okay you can move the body upwards you can move it downwards this is actually great if you want to make a pose that involves a taller sim like you, let's say you're making a pose for a couple and you want the man to be taller moving this arrow up slightly will make the sim the male sim taller when you actually put this pose in game same thing goes for shorter if you want to make the sim a little bit shorter again don't go overboard but if you want to do that this is a great tool for doing that one thing i also love about this tool is that you can make the hips sweat in any direction so yeah if you're like giving something a little sexy or yeah you're doing what Sabrina's doing in this photo you're arching your back this will give that effect and the one down here that's curved is rotational so it rotates your rig's body like so so if you're doing something where your sim is you know looking over their shoulder perhaps or maybe they're kicking something and you want to move the legs this will also help give that effect Something I avoid doing when I'm making these poses is when I am getting the hands involved, I make sure I leave some additional space between the rig and the hands. I try not to put the hands directly on the rig's quote quote skin because once you put this in game and your sim has clothes on, it might make your sims's hands clip through the clothes and that's not gonna look great. So I make sure just to leave a tiny bit of space in between. So I'm liking how the rig is looking so far. So I just make sure lock rot again and save. So I think I'm going to move on to the face now. Okay, so the face. I'm going to zoom in. Don't zoom in too far because you're going to see this and it's horrifying when you first see it. I'm going to zoom in on the face and then I'm going to look at, you know, Sabrina Carpenter's facial expression. You know, her mouth is open. Eyes are looking kind of sultry and she's looking over her shoulder to her right side. So her eyes are looking in this direction, it looks like. So we're going to have to move the eyes. How to move the eyes? This took me forever to figure out, okay? It took me too long because if you were to just click right here. This doesn't move the actual eyeball. It moves the entire eye. And it's like, how the hell do I move the eyeball? So what you're going to go and do is go to the top right and just search eye. You're going to have all these pop up, but the only ones you're going to want to care about is B underscore L underscore I and B underscore R underscore I. Okay. If you click on the bone part of either which one, the left or the right one, you can then go ahead and rotate the eyes like so. You can do this one at a time, or if you'd like to, you can also press shift on your keyboard and click the second eye. And now both of them will be selected at the same time. So then you can go ahead and rotate. <laughs> <laughs> both eyes at the same time but um i wouldn't recommend it from this angle because it's not really looking too good but yes there's a future tip if you want to move like both legs both arms both whatever at the same time and if you want to deselect both of them just press shift again and deselect the one you don't need anymore i think i'm just gonna go one at a time though because it definitely depends on the angle you're moving the eyes from if she was in the same t pose that she was at the start then this wouldn't be happening where both of her eyeballs are kind of like gravitating out of her face it's the angle. Like I said, it's a lot of trial and error, a lot of manipulation. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna rotate this eye. And you're probably noticing that it's also clipping on her lower eyelid. Let me adjust it first. And then, yeah, you see the clipping right there? We're gonna fix that. So if you go down here back to the transformation manipulators and you click the arrow one, I can go ahead and just slightly, 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 slightly move it backwards and move it back into her eye. You can definitely see that it's a bit shallower here than it is on this eye, but it really doesn't make that big of a difference in game. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move the left eye and this side, it's really not happening as much because like I said, it's the angle. So make sure she's looking to her left and she's looking also a bit more downwards. So I'm gonna move this a bit downwards and then move this one a bit downwards too. I think that's much better. Now for her mouth, her mouth is opened very wide. So that's gonna be a mission in itself. So what you're not gonna wanna do is search up mouth cast lower mouth area you're not gonna want to do that and then move the mouth around like so the best thing to do in this case scenario when you want to make them have their mouth open is you'd search jaw and then if i go ahead and select jaw and i use the arrow transformation manipulators and i move her jaw down now her whole entire mouth is going to move down with it you're not going to have any of that awkward weird clipping that's going on i'm going to move it down a little bit like that and then move it to the side look at that her mouth is open 
in. How nice. But of course, that's not all we need to do because we need to also add a smiling effect because that is what Sabrina is doing in her photo. What I could do now is maybe select the mouth corners, move them a little bit out. Like I said, look in the mirror and see how your body moves when you smile, when you do whatever it is that you want to make for your pose. I'm just going to move them up a bit. And now it actually kind of looks like she's smiling. But do not let this fool you, okay? Because it's looking good right now on your rig. But once you get into game, it might look a little bit different. So you might have to go back and, you know, put this in your game, open it, see how it's like, and then go back into Blender and fix it up. What did I say earlier, kids? Trial and error. It is a lot of trial and error. And since I just made so many changes to her, I'm going to lock rot her again and save her once more. Now the eyes. The eyes look very surprised and I don't like that. Sabrina's eyes are very relaxed. Okay, very sultry. So I'm gonna go over here to the corner and I'm gonna search up squint. This is going to help make your sim not look so surprised. You can move this up and down a bit. Go to the one on the right. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm also gonna go and type in lid and then I'm going to find the lower lids and the upper lids for both of the eyes and I'm going to move them however I would like. You don't want them too far down because then it's going to look like your sim came out of the Exorcist movie. I'm just trying to give it that, you know, sultry effect. Oh my god, that is so much better. Yes. Another thing we could do to add more into the smile is adjust the cheeks a little bit. Maybe raise them up just a tiny bit because when you smile, your cheeks do go upwards. Move those up a bit. Maybe a little bit to the side. And the last thing I like to do to help adjust the face a bit is fix the eyebrows. So I just type in brow and we have in brow, mid brow, and out brow. I really don't touch the out brow, but I do touch the mid brow and the in brow just a bit. Because when you bring them down a bit, it's going to make your sim look more relaxed and not so insanely surprised. Oh my god, wouldn't you say that's so much better. And now I'm going to add some last minute details because I think I'm liking most of the rig. One thing I want to do is I think her hands on this arm is fine, but up here it needs a little bit of work. They're a little too pointed for me. They're a little too still. Hers are a little bit more closer to her chest in the photo. So I'm going to take the wrist and I'm going to rotate it a bit with the transformation manipulator. And I think I'm going to relax the fingers just a bit too. Not too much, but just, you know, give them a little rotate on each one. Just they're not so still. And yes, again, make sure you are leaving just a little bit of room for your Sims' clothes because you don't want them to end up clipping on each other. And there we go. That's my finished product. So what are we going to do, kids? We are going to lock rot this and we are going to save it. And now, since we are done making our pose, we can hop into Sims 4 Studio. What you're going to want to do is go over here to the left where it says animation and under it, make sure clip pack is selected. Click on animation and select somewhere in your Sims 4 mods folder where you want your pose to be. I'm going to put it in my Solita Sims folder. This is where I have all of my own personal animations and poses and CC and all that. And then give it a name. I'm going to make it Solita Sims in bracket and I'm going to name it Espresso Pose Pack. Then you're going to have this open up. It's basically all the information about your pose, a name, a description, and an icon. For now, we're just going to stick to the name and I'm going to do the same exact name that I've used for the file. I'm going to name it Solita Sims Espresso Pose Pack. Then once that's done, go over here to where it says clips and now you can go ahead and import that pose. So we're going to name it. I'm just going to name it number one because it's the only one I have right now. Make sure it is selected as the rig you were using and I was using an adult female rig but you can select whatever rig that you were originally using in your pose. Make sure it's selected as a blank clip not an EA clip and then you're going to import your pose and there it is espresso. Just go ahead and import that and it'll say importing animation and there you go. You go down to the bottom right press save. Your package has been saved. And now what that means is that we can go ahead and hop into The Sims 4 and go see how our pose looks in game. Okay, I'm here in The Sims 4 with my teleporter ready. Again, you need the teleport any sim mod by Scumbumbo and the pose player mod by Andrew Studio. So we're going to go and test this pose. And of course, because we're doing an espresso pose starring Sabrina Carpenter, I had to get a Sabrina Carpenter sim for this video. I did not make the Sabrina Carpenter sim. I tried to, but there's something about her face that I just could not get down. So I downloaded it from from Clover on YouTube and I will definitely leave the link to that video down below if you would like to download her. I'll go ahead and teleport her. Solita Sims Espresso Pose Pack and let's take a look see how it looks okay like i said keep the hands kind of away from the clothing so it doesn't clip it's definitely the dress's fault in this case scenario but i'm liking it 
I think it's pretty cute. I think it's not too bad. I think I did a good job, y'all. I think I did. Congratulations, y'all. You've done it. You've made your pose. Now you can use your pose for whatever you want. You can upload them. And speaking of uploading poses, I will be uploading this pose to my Patreon, as well as one more pose inspired by Espresso by Sabrina Carpenter. Meaning this is my first ever pose pack that I'm releasing to the public. I'm kind of scared. Oh my God. Go easy on me, y'all. Go easy on me, okay? But I hope you guys enjoy them. If you choose to download them, they are available for free right now on my Patreon, patreon.com slash Solita Sims. Definitely tag me if you decide to use them. And with that ends this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you were able to learn something about making poses for your Sims. If you have any questions, leave them down below for me and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.